don't even know if this will be a video or not but i've just walked in and i've just been testing some cells overnight um just trying to complete a couple of cells for that pack but i noticed this i didn't notice that when i put it into the charger nor did i notice whether it was actually charging or not have a closer look and see what is going on with that cell I'm not sure but it worries me with all the the issues happening at the moment with walls I'll pop it out of there have a closer look it looks like the actual wrappers come on done there's definitely two sharp bits protruding from that cell apart from that the cell voltage was 1.13 volts um, so it has been stored for a long time i've got boxes of cells that have been processed and not actually put through the test and discharge cycle so have a look at that what's that dc trying to do this with one hand come on there we go so there's almost no voltage there at all. So perhaps the CID's gone on that one. Let's open that up, take the heat shrink off it, and we'll grab a different camera. I'm going to pretend like you can see this. Cut it off nice and easily. Maybe you need to go a little bit harder. Wow, that's not good. I've never seen that before. Why did it push out that way rather than vent through the end? Like I've always said, these cells don't explode. They they vent out the end. Let's take that outside in the sun and have a better look at it. It's absolutely zero volt and it's split clear down the side there's no other markings to it the cell hasn't been damaged in any other way there's nothing on either end it's just pressed out the side I've never seen it Wow that concerns me just a little bit. That makes no sense. Rather than trying to go into something I don't understand, I'll upload this, throw it up on YouTube. I'll get you guys to chime in on the comments below what you think has actually happened with that cell. Um, yeah, I do have I do have 4K surveillance in my shed, but it wouldn't pick up that distance away and that sort of detail to see what happened um, that's disappointing there's actually a gap there it's actually pushed it out and there seems to be two two places where it's pushed out and it's split the cell all the way along I don't have a camera on my microscope, but I might see if I can see inside of that CID and see what's going on. Why would it pressurize out the side? Light the comment section up, let me know what you think.
seeing as how I have a shipping container now, and um, it'll be a few more weeks before I can get some inverters and stuff up and in there, I think I should use it for what it was designed for and store these batteries safely. So let's move this lot from here out to the shipping container. I'll move the table out so I can still process cells out there until I actually get it all up and running. And that'll be a hell of a lot safer and I'll sleep better at night I reckon after seeing that cell. Let's do it. Got a plan. When you start moving shit around like this, it really shines a rather strong light on how unfit I really am. I'd do something about it, but Tim Tams tastes great. nearly all my lithium batteries um, that are not in a nice safe housing on a wall or something where somewhere where something can get knocked or bumped or whatever um, I put a little charging station out here I'm just using my portable recycle power trolling motor battery to power that and it's slightly over voltage 15 volts the fans are going a little bit hard but we'll see how it goes I'm happy to run this test out in this shed and then in here I've just got the tested cells some are pre-charged there some I've got to process out, all these are processed down, and all of these are all but sorted for the next video. Um, I've got that there, which is not ideal, and somebody's gonna bag me the hell on that. But that's all the 2200s and below that I don't use, and that represents the last of my cells I have left to process, and I won't be doing any more after that. So I may even consider selling that box so I don't have to process the cells. But anyway, tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope someone can give me some insight to that cell. I'll see you on the next one.